Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Trust and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video guys, I'm going to review how to actually apply or comply with account deletion policy compliance on your Google Play Console. So if you receive an email for account policy compliance on your Google Play Console, this is all you need to do. So go ahead and open a new tab and then open Play, play Console or play.google.com forward slash console. Then um, once you have it open, just go ahead and hit enter and it's going to open to your play console um, area and you need to actually confirm the account. I think I'm actually okay with this. So I'm just going to click on my account. Now, if you click on the account, it's going to load up and display this particular area for you. Now to actually comply to um, their policy delegation, all you need to do is to scroll down. And if you want to view the message once more, click on the inbox area and you can see the inbox this is actually the um, delegation account i told you about clarification regarding account deletion um, policy compliance now to actually reflect to this or to make this actually work you notice on this area on the left hand area click on where it says setup now scroll down oh sorry guys that is not actually what we need to click on sorry click on the home button to take you to the home click on the particular account or the particular app that you have on your play store once that has opened up scroll down to the bottom of your account area and you are going to notice where it says app consent click on app consent and it's going to open up now on this area you can notice it says one message that you have and you need attention with is actually um declaration needed now if you scroll down you are going to notice where it read more further and says um compliance deadline i've actually passed the compliance deadline and it's actually 13th august i do not know if it's 13 august of next month but we are we all i need to do is to start declaration so click on start declaration to actually declare this now you can notice um it gave it gave former further information discussing about the financial future of features of in your account now I do not make personal loan lender. I am not a personal loan person, not a banking, not line or credit, um, payment transfer, not mobile wallet and not a mobile payment. And it does also doesn't do mobile transfer. The purchase agreement, reward point, frequent fill um, and other incentive. Yes, I do reward points also. Yes, I do that in the game, but um, there is nothing like buy now, pay later. There is nothing like cryptocurrency. There is no purchase agreement. I only give reward, in-game reward, like restart. So I don't think this is supposed to be related, right? Now, token, none of them, none of them also here, supportive financial advice credit. So I do not actually have any financial features. Now you notice it says my app doesn't um, provide any financial feature. So I'm going to confirm that, yes, I do not provide any financial feature. So I'm going to click on next. And finally, it says at the moment, you are not uh, required to submit any um, additional document for the financial features for your um, for app provides for your um, for your app provides. So um, all I need to do is to click on save because I do not actually have any financial features on my application. So I have to go back to the overview. So but then if they manually review this and they find out that, there, that there is something wrong, they are actually going to um they are actually going to notify me again so all i need to do is to send for review and done so after you sent for review they are going to review the app and they are also going to come back and i think there is also one more thing that i need to fix but that is probably on a different video this is just actually how to fix your app declaration um policy so i hope this is helpful guys if it is don't forget to smash like and i will see you on my next video Peace.